Yeah, yes, welcome chance. back. Now, before we actually go break, we tell you so we will get two very cadet guests. We go join us inside the building, discuss the matter of child abuse. Now, child abuse don't arise in different ways inside we Obodo, Ninja. Some people they talk about in terms of children where they hawk on the streets. Now, the most recent one where they're very rampant and on the rising. Now, the issue of molestation of the girl child and even the male child, mm -hmm. they go vice versa because a lot of times we don't see different, different headlines daily, day in, day out about one child, one uncle, they molest them. They Papa, they molest them, uncle, brother, nephew, cousin, different members of the public, they molest children. Now, what's going to be the way forward towards child abuse? How people fit curtail them? How we fit actually reduce them to the nearest minimum? And how we fit bring justice to the people who will be victims of this badness? Now, to discuss this plenty, plenty ones with us, we get child advocates in the building, child abuse advocates in the building. We get the presence of Chukura Florence and Fumi Oyedinu. Welcome. <laughs> Thank Good you. to have you in the Thank house. You. Thank, Thank you. I know say one of the things where the show, I, I, if, if I don't know any other thing, I know say we in our people where they actually stand against them, child abuse. So we don't bring a lot of guests to talk about them because we need to sink them deep into the, the, the head of the parents, be you mother, father, even into our government heads to talk, say, come, you need to put a law on ground to protect people where they don't be victim of um, child abuse. But for us to understand them better, maybe just watch this video from UNICEF. UNICEF says reliable data on violence against children in Nigeria is scarce. The agency says this is because such violence is often not reported and is regarded as normal because it happens within the family circle or behind the privacy of homes. There is also a lot of violence suffered by children living on the streets, most of whom are exploited by adults. Rachel Harvey is with UNICEF. She says society has to be more sensitive and understanding of what children are going through. Less than 50% who suffered physical violence ever told anyone, and far less who suffered sexual violence. So children are not speaking out, and when they do, they tell a friend or a relative instead of a, a service provider or an authority figure. What they also found is children don't know where to go to get the help. And even when they do know where to go, less than 6% are actually trying to access help, and less than 5% do. Dr. Ezekiel Oyemomi is the permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development. He says the survey provides evidence for a change in policy. If it is that up to 60% of Nigerian children before the age of 18 have been violated, whether sexually, physically or emotionally, that's high enough to call attention of everybody to read that this is not allowable and we must do something about ending it. Professor Chidi Odinkalu is the goodwill ambassador for the campaign to end violence against children in Nigeria. He is optimistic that the report will have a positive impact on the fight to end violence against children. It's the beginning of informing us, of shocking us to the to realities we've got to deal with through adequate policy and other responses. And that's why the president has made a priority of joining the campaign himself and leading it. Um, I, I, and that's really, so the impact I think is in what follows, not in the document itself. It's in what we're able to master at the government, federal government level, at state level, and at the level of our civics. The survey is the result of an initiative launched in 2000. All right, here's that another video from UNICEF. Now, we don't actually establish a fact, say, um, statistics for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, on children mm -hmm. without being molested. It's not, not there. Because, number one, either parents they fear of stigma, mm -hmm. or number two, they don't want to make uh, people come to look their family as, hey, mm -hmm. so you get a person for you, away with mm -hmm. this and that and mm -hmm. that, or, or to protect um, any member of the family without mm -hmm. actually molest or violate um, a child sure. um, body. Now, let's talk, since you get uh, an organization where they fight against um, child abuse, tell us some of the stories where you don't hear from children. children. And I want the hardest one where you don't hear from children. Maybe people understand, say, this is real. It's mm. not just on tablet. No, it is real. It's not make-believe, uh, it is real. For real. OK, the one when I don't hear, since I don't need to go out to schools, to communities, and churches, to do this campaign and talk to educate children and empower them, you know, to say no. Because most of these people, they abuse children. The children know them. And people, where they give them things, where they take care of them, where they save them, even do anything, they know if you talk. So, what thing I do basically now to tell them, say, me, then talk, no matter who that person be. You get one day when I go on school, 
And after the talk and everything, one girl come to I said, okay, if I get anything to tell Auntie, you, Auntie, they won't come. I'm gonna come. I want to hear your story. If you don't get any experience or anything, or anybody the way they call you, my wife, my wife, come tell me, make her hear the story. So this girl come and she said, Auntie, my uncle they always enter my room for night. Too. I say, eh, what did they can't do? They always can't touch me. They suck my breast. They put in finger inside my vagina. They put in dig. They take and they. Mm. they How take old is in. this girl, please? The girl, I think she, she's seven years. Mm. As at that time, she's seven years. And the uncle, how old? Uh, adults, about twenty-eight years old man. Oh, okay. He's an adult. So you go say go take in, in pennies. They you know choke in vagina like that, like that. I said, ah, so your mom, wait till your mom, did you tell your mom? You tell your mom, wait till they happen. You say, hey, it's time when I want to tell my mom. My mom goes, make her keep quiet, make her keep quiet. Say, I won't spoil her marriage. I said, why? What marriage? He said, because my mom leave my dad to marry another man. So each time when I want to tell them, this way they happen to me every night, she goes, say, my, my daddy don't send me to come spoil a marriage. I said, eh? When this girl tell me this, I looked at her innocent eye like this, tears they come off me. I said, God. What kind of wickedness is this? How can a mother be this careless to allow her daughter to go through this pain? I can imagine the pain this girl they go through every night mm. from the hand of this boy. Can imagine the pain. Every night under the same roof where mama day with her. And I said, okay. I don't feel oh my, my body they shake. I was just, ah, my body they shake. I ran to the uh, school counselor, I say, ah, madam, this one when I hear pass me, how can we undo this thing? One, to protect the family setting because now step marriage and all that. I want to do this thing now. So as I talk to the school counselor, just the I say, ah, you can't be crying, you know. This thing, you have to be strong for the children. You are crying. I say, ah, this is weekend. This is, I'm just angry with the mother. I'm just crying. Say, okay, we'll call the mother of this girl. So. As God may have it, as if now God arranged the whole thing. When they call her and say, come, your daughter's school won't see you. Say, okay. She now call her husband and say, then call me for my daughter's school. I know it's and say, hey, okay, my carry go there now. She brought the husband's office. So close by, Sha, not too far. Now, so they reach school. We sit down, round table with a small girl. Say, the school counselor say, tell your parents, wait till you tell us, you know, before we call them. The girl narrated the whole story. As she they talk, as soon as her mother jump up. Hey, you don't lie. You don't lie. No, be saying tell me, oh. No, be saying tell me. No, tell me like that. No, lie. They lie. This weekend. Hmm. The stepfather called the girl by name. Say, come. You know I love you. You know you are my daughter. You know this. I used to take care of you. Tell me the truth. Don't lie. Tell me the truth. The girl narrated the same story. Ah! This man was angry. Say, eh? What? And so she began. And so the man began to chase the wife up and down inside the office. Say, he won't kill this woman today. Because, say, hey, imagine this thing they go on and you say, marriage, 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 marriage. Tomorrow, you get two twins, daughters for me, that are three years old. This is my stupid same brother. Pattern. Go still go back. Go to molest these two, these two girls. You they keep, they keep this thing, say, marriage, marriage, marriage. Man say, no way. This thing, this nonsense. Man say, that your marriage, that marriage go come and spoil today. So at the end of it, Osha, because our family thing, mm -hmm. they arrested the boy, take it to take him to the police station and send him back home. Then another one again, I've had about 18 cases really, but some we were just shot. Like another one again, another girl, in another school. She tell me, say, ah, say as lesson teacher, they always put, you know, in finger inside their vagina. They tell us their age. Okay, this one, this one is about nine years too. Okay. She's nine. For me, Jolly, now primary school be my real target mm -hmm. when I they go to. So she's and about nine. Teacher now, how many years? Uh, adult, oh. Okay. I don't know. But it's an adult, lesson teacher, an adult okay. now. <laughs> an adult. So this lesson teacher go tell the girl, say, if you won't come to my class, we wear short skirts, ah. don't wear tight. Yes, now so the lesson teacher tell her. So the girl, you know, children, and the girl get this baby fat. You know, she's hobby. So the girl go come with me. So let's go teach her with the teacher. Yeah. The girl sit down for front. They know table and chair. I do a lesson teacher. They sit down with it. Okay, do this, do that. We just took a hand under the table like that. They put it inside the girl, vagina, with dirty finger, long nails, you know. And the girl say every time she they get pain for her vagina. I say, why didn't you tell your parent? He said, my lesson already told me that my daddy will not believe me. 
and you know your daddy said you don't want to learn, and if you tell your daddy, I will, I will tell your daddy that you don't want to learn, you don't want to learn, your, you don't want to concentrate, I will tell your daddy. So that one alone, the lessons you don't take and hold the girl. Fear. Fear. Say, if you talk, I will tell your daddy, say, now nah, you don't want to learn, don't say that. But if you just keep calm, let me do whatever I want to do. I will be giving you pass mark. I will tell your daddy that you are improving and everything. Ah, say God. Okay, this lesson, this lesson teacher, we need to see him. This girl father, we need to see him. So that's where we start from. At least to put an end to this thing where this girl they go through. Every time where this so-called lesson teacher come, you know, take him for lesson. So we we'll call the dad. They schedule for a meeting. The man saying they busy, but we didn't really tell him what you want to do. Another day I went there to the school. So we sat down. Ah, this man said, eh, God, come on, it's never going to happen, not me. Eh, this is it. Was, I say, oh, God, calm down. That's a lesson teacher. No, the, the father. father. Okay. I say, please, what relationship do you have with your daughter? Good. Is it this kind of relationship that you don't allow your daughter to talk or anytime? She, Get out, keep quiet, jump out, calm down, stand up. Now, the area where parents, they make mistakes with that. To, my, to the best of my knowledge, I've been with children for 18 years, even before I started this thing. Children are innocent. They don't phrase words, they don't mix words, they say it the way as it, it is. as it is. So parents, please, hear your children out. Don't shut them down. Because most of the cases when I did, the case of shutting down, they get, children, because our children are smart these days. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they want to talk. Mm -hmm. Say, ah, mommy, but you talk too much. Keep quiet. You they talk. You they do this. They do. Inside that nonsense where then they talk, pick the sense out of it. Mm. Pick the sense. If you begin one tell you, you know, woman, so you should this begin to do it. It's all right, don't you? Okay, one day I go on school. These are not just their creature knows you. And I they try to tell them the private, the real name for private body parts. Mm -hmm. And one boy stood and said, Auntie, don't say that mommy will beat you. Uh, yes. Wow. You. Yes. I was shocked. <laughs> but Auntie, keep quiet. Don't say that mommy will beat you. It's not that I can't be showing such video. For real. Auntie, don't say that mommy will beat you. Don't say, don't mention it. Don't say that. I said, why? He said, mommy said we should not mention. I said, oh, can you imagine? If that, that child, if they abuse her, he's a boy. If they abuse that child, how will he tell? How will he say? How will he be able to express himself? Because mommy has already shot him that you must not say anything that has to do with sex. I will not say a lot of male child, even though say we don't get statistics, a lot of them they actually go through abuse. Yes! Either from nanny There's or from one. auntie. I have another one. Tell I, me I, about that story. Okay, that one is. Okay, I went for a parent forum, parent teachers, and I do talk to parents. I, I even love talking to parents because if I talk to you now as a parent, you have three or four kids, definitely you pass the message to four of your children. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay that when I go to school, talk to each and children. Yes. So, and this woman say, ah, thank God, oh, the only boy I get, oh, ah, thank God. I, I just said, this one needs counseling. I just picked her. I said, madam, come. We were just telling her all that, ah, thank God, oh, hey, this thing, wow, well, God, help us, oh, hey, thank God, only because boys are getting to... Because she's another girl, now they're getting that trouble, okay. exactly. Ah! Say, thank God, oh, only girl I get to say that. I said, okay, so, madam, I just picked her. I said, okay, madam, please come. I said, come, we'll talk. I said, okay. Say, they, they abuse boys, too. I said, eh, how? I said, one day. I said, yes, they abuse boys, too. I said, so I want to, I said, how many boys get? I said, three. Okay, how would them be? She mentioned that the last one are like seven, and at the last one they even abuse. Wow. I see, I don't know, God just pushed me, she thought, say, thank God they abuse boys. Because my major thing, I was even talking about girls and all that, but I know they abuse boys too. So she now said, okay, so what do I do? I said, do you have a nanny? He said, yes. Dorothy, I have a nanny. I said, hey, who is she? How, do you allow her to go out to see her boyfriend, to visit her boyfriend? He said, no. I don't go out to, it's only Christmas time, you should travel to your village wow. and so on. That's it. Because, because, because naturally, naturally, naturally sexual sexual frustration. Frustration. yes. Do you understand? So, and now this Dorothy, they always go bait the boys. Hmm. And they bait them and everything. And this small one, maybe she's fond of that small one and everything. So one day, the other, the two seniors, they never come back. But this small one, they always go bring that one. Don't they can define their way. So, this time when the boy come, this Dorothy go. Put man, what's it called? Music, this sexual music. Where women they dance, they roll their waist and all that. So this is to go wear bra and pants for, for a sitting seven room. Year old. For a sitting room. Because when they arrest her, now she they talk this thing. I even the position that they for mushing. I just stand like this. I don't know if you believe my ear. Yeah. I say this is another one. Hey! So I saw she goes wear a bra and pants. Say for parlor. They play music. She go, they roll her waist. They say, ah. 
But, but do you know how to dance? The Canadian call, come and dance. I got another one. No children and that one to come. He said, well, hold my waist. Curious, hold man. my waist. Hold my waist. Bobo said, oh, oh. Touch my waist. Oh, my. Well, yeah, Bobo, touch me here. Bobo, do this. Bobo, do that one. As soon, as soon, as soon. You know, the Peking, come they touch him, the roadways. And this, according to the nanny, the lady, she gets, she, they wear beads. Then she go, the, the boy, he said, hey, go, they touch my beads. They roll my beads. I said, who they touch your beads? Seven-year-old <laughs> child. Say, oh my way, such my being. Say, so one day, not only one day, not only just one day, where they say, hold me well, well. Now here I can't they suck in pennies. Only one day, only one day. So I, I won't come and the lady say, okay, as you suck in pennies, mm -hmm. you suck your vagina. And I do, ma, I don't want to hear this again, no. And I say, man, I listen. I say, no, 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 I can't stand it. My you baby, my baby, at home, so you should know. my baby. She fought for uh, police station there. They cry, my baby, I don't want to hear again. I don't want to hear. She not let like, Kuma let us hear the whole thing. I the police, you know, send the girl into the girl again. This thing. I, I feel her pain anyway. So she no one yeah, She can't stand it. I can't say. Is this a dream? Don't be this woman, they talk to so thank, thank God I have boys, so... I this is a dream I've been you, you, you know when, when things won't happen, it gets as God, they just, you know... Yes, okay, straight. straight. Thank you. Yes, okay, straight things, things, just so that everything goes so through the day, very her. all right, and in the I open. I don't dream with this. But Not for the parents... Now, we don't establish mm. so many cases here about child molestation. What would be the way forward? Because we they talk about and day in, day out, mm. to say, okay, um, the call, call the names of the private parts the way where then they be. Mm. But make we face the honest truth. Some parents still find them difficult to be able to have sexual conversations with, with their, their kids. So how these people feel help themselves? Because we know say the, our era, our parents don't get this in, this discussion with us. All of us, we learn from outside, maybe from school. We they discuss from where media they come, and all of that. Like <laughs> but now we they learn say up. we need to I'm discuss with our children. Yeah. But in as much as say we they talk and say we need to, mm. it's you know make them easy enough for us um. to do them. So how parents fit find this courage to discuss with their ch with their children? And to add to them, it's mm. discussing with the child about their private part the way forward because. I know of person where be say she did discuss, she did explain how she be. The child is just four years. And she did explain how it be, this is your vagina, this is this and that. No, we, I, I know they talk about no, I know they talk about okay. discussing about private parts, discussing sexually mm. with your children, giving them sexual orientation, oh, not just the private no, parts. I get what you, I just want to explain this thing. Now we not say that talk say at four, mm. let them start knowing their body, mm. but not telling them that a hey, man will do this and that. No, no, at no, four, no, no. But at four, tell them, say, Your don't body touch is this, private. don't touch that, don't do this. And you know what thing happened? This young girl, I don't know how she said they get this information from, she just likes when people are touching her and kissing her. Yes. To an extent, I catch her, they Google, they YouTube, they watch a uh, mm -hmm. um, um, video of people kissing. And I she asked her, somebody around her, and her abuse that to it. I don't think, I don't know if she has an abuse, because I asked her, I didn't no, know the touch, she kissed you. She said, no, I won't even call her, say, I've been telling you, Abby, this and that. Have they touched you? She said, no, mom, I just like it. Is it that we are exposing them to a lot of things on TV? And is, is that, <coughs> can that be part of yes. the reason too? Okay, there are so many reasons though, not only when you, when you tell the child, say, this one are your pennies, this one are your books, or this one are your anus, this one are your this. Another thing we say, now, parents, there is a case where one, um, even now the parents, now the mother can't report the child for school. Yeah, and it happened today that school that day, because they do school counseling to, to do some school, they attach me to some school. So the mother can't, attack, can't report the child, say, she always watch pornography. Say from where to where now? From TV everywhere. That was my question. Mother said, the mother said, say she no no. I might tell him say no. This woman, the way she did do say, she be like say she didn't watch the thing. Now I answer again, say, come my dear. Where do you say my mommy's wardrobe? Mm -hmm. So parents they buy this thing, they keep, then they watch them too. And their children go and watch movie and they was just in there. Go watch. And they but they're not day. Hey, they're not there, and the children will go watch. Or it's inside their phone. Some, you say adults, I don't know that they take all this thing they do inside phone. No. They will just download some kind of dirty, dirty I for movies children. like that. Because even... Make I just I hold. Mean, I know that mm. the matter, the matter they hold and we they vex, mm. but we still need to talk more in depth about how parents could discuss sexually with their children. Okay. But first, we're going to need to pass more break. When we come back, our guests still there inside the building and we still they talk about sexual abuse amongst our children. Mm. We they come back. <laughs> Bye. 
first way I did take this thing. You open your mouth. My name is Nawaji. Please make sure say you watch Talk Talk with we and the channel. Not change your TV channel. God bless you. But one thing sure I know what I'm up All right, and welcome back. We still talk about a very sensitive uh, um, topic. This one's something where they actually increase for inside Wilbodo, Nigeria. And one talk is not enough. Mm -hmm. Two talk, not the Never enough. Reach. We need to they talk and 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 they the government, they hear and say, this thing is real, and your people, really, they affect um, the younger generation. Sexual abuse, a guest speaking, and now we think they actually talk about um, this um, um, beautiful afternoon. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, we, but Yana says she, we want to talk about yeah. sexual orientation. Between Which the, be the way forward. And the yes. Okay. And at what age is they very okay for you to start to tell your picking how you be? Hmm. Ah. A man can meet a woman, this and everything will happen. What age is appropriate? Well, now different stages according to the level of the children, where they will fit understand. Like from ages um, three, that's why they feel they talk. Say, my mommy, my this, my dad. Women from ages three begin to tell them the proper name of their private body parts. Okay. From ages three. Then, when you get to the level of preteen, no, like maybe, it's, okay, let me, let me take it from age eight, age to preteen and teenagers like that. You begin to tell them the, I think, vagina day for who is supposed, you know, waiting, pen is day for, waiting your anus day for. I wonder, they talk about the anus with some boys and small boys like that, about seven, eight years old. I say, ah, oh, yeah, anus, what is anus? I say, anus, not that place where if you want to go. I say, eh, hey. I say, that place, oh, not allow anyone to put their dick in. I say, ah, I say, yes. They were like, so are they okay to tell them, like, yes. just Yes, what age is that? Now, that, 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 that age, that age, age. from eight. But can eight, I say nine, something? Ten, can eleven. I also tell Let you guys tell you. something? Eight is that actually, age is too late. Eight is too late. It's too With late. With children of now, I have two boys. I want to ask you, say, as a parent, <laughs> how yeah. you okay. they discuss with your with my your children. children? Okay. Now, the one thing I learned is this. Make you tell the Pekin as it be. At what age? Not change the name. When my boys were growing up, I ha but when I had my second boy, my older boy was oh, about one and a half years old. So okay. there is about one and a half years, close to two years differences between them. Mm. So my older son, we started sexual education early because he's a naturally curious child. Mm. Mm. You know, he's one of those children that, mommy, what is that? What is this? So even in school, when we started crutch, the school has monthly um, meetings with parents only. Mm. And one of the topics is sexual orientation. So we used to ask, ah, ah, ah. You know, when we were growing up, we didn't used to talk about it so mm -hmm. much. Uh -huh. And then the head of school says, Madam, you all need to talk about it. When you notice that your child is curious, you come out of the bathroom, he follows you in inside the room. Mm. You understand? Let's say you have a communal shower. Uh -huh. Or maybe you are bathing, he knocks on the door, or he opens the door before you are done. Mm. You know, it takes a while before they understand that knock before you enter mommy and daddy's room. Yeah. So, Jordan, knock, he go knock, he go enter. So, we started saying, you have to knock and wait for hold on, or mommy is in the shower, daddy is in the shower. It was natural for him to just want to cuddle with mommy. So, I don't know about girls, because I have just boys. But boys are comfortable watching their mommy dressing up. Maybe, probably... Old over from breastfeeding, cuddling, mommy's pet, and I'm the only female, so husband and oh. children, really, boys and men. Mm -hmm. So they are comfortable, they don't mind. So mm -hmm. at two years old, I had to reorientate both myself and Jordan. Jordan, you're now two, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to. It took a while, it wasn't overnight. But then I noticed that Jordan, uh, mommy, what is this? What is it called? What? Mm. And because in school they told us, so we started telling them. Tell him, so I told him, this is your penis. Nobody touches it. Don't touch it. Repeat, he will now say, don't mm -hmm. touch it. So anytime they come back from school, I ask. Now he's almost seven. His younger brother is five years old. And there was a time I had a maid. And I discovered that one day, both of them said, bum bum. I now call two of them. Did you say bum bum or bot? Because they are trained to say bot or buttocks, buttocks. not bum bum. 
Because, you see, bum bum is synonymous with Children. penis, vagina, clitoris, you know. So, mm -hmm. if something happens and you ask the child to narrate, she touched my bum bum. Which part of the bum bum is confusing? Mm -hmm. So, I said, do you mean butt or buttocks? He now said, but. I said, okay, why are you discussing but? And I said, it's auntie, she called, he called the maid's name then. Auntie, this is his dimensioned but, that she will beat my bum bum. That was the last time, in fact, that was the last weekend the maid spent in my house. Till now, I don't have a maid. It was deliberate. You know, because she's friendly with them. She's, she's very playful. She, she wasn't rude, mm -hmm. but I know that from playfulness and yeah. organ. So I, I, I just sent her away. I was just more comfortable. But at this age, last year, Jordan asked, him, asked me, uh, Mommy, I want a baby sister. <laughs> it, the, the, the discussion moved to pregnancy. I said, Mommy, um, my friend's mommy in school got pregnant. How did the baby get there? I said, oh my goodness, this discussion is coming earlier than I <laughs> thought. How old is Jordan? How old is so, he now? He's six. Yes. Okay. And this was when he was five years old. Okay. Which means his younger brother was three. Mm. And you know, they are friends because they do everything. So he, the younger brother, too, was listening on the bed. And their dad was not at home that day. I said, okay. So it's now me. He wanted to tackle with questions. So he asked me. And I had to, because he really wanted to know. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, Jordan. Yes, uh, yes, sorry, Ms. Mommy, yes, is pregnant, she will have a baby. Mommy, how did the baby get there? For instance, now, if you want to give me a baby sister, how would the baby get there? Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I said, you, you remember what, you know what your penis is, right? Okay, you know the girls in your class, because they talk about it in yeah. school. You know the girls in your class have vagina. He said, yes. I said, okay, so it means that daddy's penis will enter mommy's vagina. You told him clearly. Oh, I did, because he asked. He now said, how will the baby come out? I said, okay, the baby will come out through mommy's vagina. He said, is it the same vagina that Kira has in my class? I said, yes, it's the same vagina. So in as much as we make our children... So after that, after this lovely explanation, yes. what did you come tell them? It, satisf it satisfied his yes. curiosity. That's so all. You didn't no. tell him, okay, no. don't allow, don't allow this. There's, a time, yeah, there's a time for mm. you to do this. No, we do that. No, we have that discussion every day. That. Mm. Okay. We have that discussion at least once a week. But you shouldn't try this. No, so yeah. don't try this. No, try no this. in fact, your, in fact you should let children know it is LD when they see you kissing their daddy. That's another thing. When you want to kiss your husband, don't say move away. No. Because you give them the pressure that it's a taboo and should not be done. No. Jordan, it should be done, but only when you are For married. For mommy and daddy. Mm. Yes, so don't, don't give the pressure that, so that if, if, God forbid, they are influenced wrongly. Wrongly. And the person, you mean your mommy said it should never be done? Yes, she said nobody should be doing it. But there's nothing wrong with it, so come, look yeah, at that. Let us do it. Now, let us ahead. So, yes. so I, I and my husband, we kiss in front of them, and then we let them know that it is only mommies and daddies that should do it. Mm. It is okay to see your mom and your daddy and doing children, it. Because when you marry one day, Jordan, you also daddy. kiss your wife. And you will tell your children that only for me. He said, okay. So can I kiss daddy now? He said, okay, 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 kiss daddy. So let them know he's LD. Yeah. Because this, it happens. Mm. Tell them the truth. You know, this is just like, tell them the truth. Yes. Yes. This uh, is so, it, but it's, you, you will because, do it with your wife. Yes. And you have you, to tell all, them. They will tell them out there. They will tell them the wrong thing. Okay, there is a, there is a case. Apart from that, you have to tell them, anybody that tells you it is a secret, uh -huh. Tell your mommy and daddy. Mm. Don't tell anybody. In fact, run home and tell me. That is one, because last year I, I had a talk with the graders in their school. So the school invites parents a day with the children at Cedar Oak. We talk to them freely. So they will ask, not the teachers, the parents. So a lot of the graders were asking me questions. But Ms. Ojiro, what of, what of, what? I say yes. If anybody tells you, don't tell anybody. Run home and tell your mommy. mommy. And I really that like means that. Mommy yes. must know. No. no. I really like that. That means a bad was, secret. Just to say something. I remember there was a book Betiana actually gave me to my little niece. And that book don't actually help her in ways where I know fit actually imagine. And I think, say, we need to get all those kind of books for school. And it's books mm. about your body parts. Materials. Well explained. We need to get mm. them in school. In Do school. you want to give one example? Yes, I want to give one, one example. Okay, one school like that when I go, the girl come with me, say, ah, but auntie, what if they touch me and I like them, they say sweet me because yes. they tell me, That's say, really they tell question. me, say, sex is sweet. Yes. She's 13, 14, yes. Yeah. See, they tell me, say, ah, romance, you know, for people today in love, that thing is sweet. They, the experience is sweet. Everywhere. That you look as if you are in another world. 
You know, during counseling, I say, hey, I say, ah, how you go take like me? They touch you, they touch your private body part. I say, yeah, because they tell me say they sweet. I talk to them, they talk. He said, no, but my friend, they used to talk about it, that, ah, that if you are in love. I said, that's hmm. not love. That's, that's you know, can you imagine mm. the story where she don't hear? So that kind of, even if they abuse her, you know she go fish, she go there, enjoy her. Right, Based on the fact, say, okay, what something? she just said, mm. if I, God bless you for that statement. I was 14 years old. You know, in school, in secondary school, we have friends, cliques that you gist with. I was barely, yeah, 14, 14 and a half. My classmates, after school, we, we like to they sit down, they jeez, they talk. I remember Maria. Maria was sexually active. That's she loved to talk about it. Mm. The thing is sweet. And you, Smolimi would just be looking at her. You know, she was more developed than I was. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so Smolimi would just they look, say, how she did talk, how she did do it. She just, she said, man, for me, the thing is sweet, make her no lie. There was no shame. There was, mm. She was open in a, in, in, in a gathering of six, six secondary school girls. And how that thing affects mm. you? You understand? So it's, you wanted to experience yes. Number one. You want to experience Number one, it. I was curious. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's it. I, I'm not going to. I was curious. Because ah, I'm okay. This way they say it's sweet. Let me try it. Sweet. Okay. Is it the fondling? Is it the this? Is it the that? But, well, thank but God for your mother. She, there was mm. now a statement mm. she made. She said, in fact, she even combined it. Not, she said, not just when she's with her boyfriend. She said, at times when she's pressed, you ring. Mm -hmm. As in when she needs to, you know, take a leak and she's pressed, she holds it. So probably pressing down the, the pressure, you ring, and mm -hmm. she said it just gives one funny, intense pleasure. It was when I got <laughs> older, I realized that was orgasm. Yeah. So I was 40, 50, I was less than 16, but I didn't know. But let me tell you what turned me off. Okay. Barely some days after that conversation. You know, in class, we have class boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So my class boyfriend then. So we we're gisting, we we're gisting. So the discussion, just like boyfriend and girlfriend in class, mm -hmm. it also moves to sex. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's because it's That's a fascinating sex. topic. Mm -hmm. Everybody, they like to, this is the sweet person mm -hmm. to, to talk. Definitely. So he now said something, something, with the conversation moved to Maria, and I said, oh. I said, ah, why you do like that? She said, oh. The person where they tell you, say the thing, so you know what her boyfriend, they talk. They all is a old. All right, on that note, I will need to give you some health tips before we actually come on inside the studio. Very interesting conversation. If you don't miss some, you will need to go over to our YouTube. Um, you watch and for there. We go post and for there for you to actually watch because this one, this one, a topic where everybody needs to be informed. We I don't talk you. a lot based on experiential. Our YouTube page still remain Wazobia Max. All right, on top health tips for today, they say itching all over your body. If they itch all over your body, run to the doctor because this one thing indicates say your liver, something don't happen to her. Wow. Yes. If he indicates it, it um, so your liver has something that they happen to him. So if you they eat all over your body, it don't day consistent for like a week now. Please run to your doctor. Don't if you day with your and uh, they happen to your liver. I Interesting. Wow, well, beautiful conversation where we don't get mm. with Una. <laughs> Maybe we just hear your final words to parents and also to kids concerning child abuse. Now, when they abuse a child, we know say we don't talk, say talk, 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 talk. But we get children where they very into yeah. themselves. Mm. How then fit get help? Okay, like, what would they do now? They go to school to do this talk. This thing don't really help because so far so good. I don't discover like 18 cases and mm -hmm. it has been treated. And the children don't get their sanity. They don't do okay, you know? What thing I won't really tell parents be say, fine, you don't tell your children, you don't educate them, you don't empower them. Now, the people want to employ inside on a house to come to work for now. Like, what you want to do? The campaign I want to do now that every member of the family needs to be educated on this okay. child. If they employ nanny, come oh, this see all these my girls then they know they touch them more. Let them know that this private, but this thing nobody told them. I like them. that we're gonna to need to hold you on that because yeah. they're gonna to need to follow you on top of Instagram. Mm. Just your final word, just mm. small because we don't actually see okay. that. Time. My final word, especially on children, yes, we say they don't like to they talk. Yes, mm -hmm. Approach your children differently. I get yes. to begin. Mm -hmm. One is buoyant and talkative, one they very reserved. If you shout on the younger one, it can withdraw for 24 hours. Wow. So God forbid. If they abuse, I go, no, no. Mm. So I had to change my approach. I approach them differently. Different. Mm. I don't train them the same way. So all kids are different. Thank you yes. so much. Thank Thank on top Instagram, much. please give me your Instagram yeah, handle. handle. Ah, Instagram handle. Um, my, my child, child, my treasure foundation.
My Child, My, my Treasure, Treasure Foundation. Foundation. Fumi, your own Instagram handle? Fumi Remedy Beauty Zone. Hmm. Fumi Remedy Beauty Zone, as in, you need to actually follow <laughs> I it. I want ask, ask her any question concerning um, you as a parent. Thank you so much. Thanks, Fumi thank you. Remedy Beauty, Beauty Zone. Zone. Thank you so and my much. My Child, My Treasure Foundation. My Child, My, child, my, my Treasure, Treasure Foundation. Foundation. Thank all you right, very thank you so much. much. Betty and us, we did all of the talk. To talk, to talk not, not be bad, bad thing, but making the way to you they talk about. Thank you very much. Our time has been... To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.